Fortunately, uh, the projects that we were busy with prior to lockdown, uh, all of them resumed once level three lockdown was implemented in June. So we were in the fortunate situation that we were able to resume full production once we were given the go ahead to do so. Uh, we did make a good start to the year prior to lockdown and that volumes that we lost during the lockdown months were, were recovered and we've actually had managed to make a good start uh, post lockdown. All right. Do you foresee lasting changes to the construction industry, perhaps a more widespread approach to enter into collaboration or promoting more local manufacturing? So the construction industry has been in, in trouble uh, for a number of years now. Even before the COVID pandemic, uh, we saw the demise of a large number of construction companies, mainly the larger ones that we term the big six. And those construction companies were really responsible for conducting what we call mega projects, which AFRISAM always tended to be involved with due to the uh, location of our ready mix plants, as well as the number of plants that we operate. So the COVID pandemic has really plunged the construction industry into further distress. And as a result of that, what we're finding is that a number of companies who didn't do the right things in terms of optimizing their businesses and changing their operating models have actually not reopened their doors uh, once the, the lockdown was lifted. So I see that the construction industry in this country is under huge pressure at the moment. It will never be the same in terms of what it was a few years ago. Um, linked to that is the loss of skills in the construction industry. Um, over the last few years, we've had a number of experienced contractors and engineers leave the country for greener pastures, uh, emigrating to countries like Australia and New Zealand, where there's been a, a construction boom taking place at the moment. And this results in a, in a large problem, I believe, because it leaves a, a large gap in terms of skills in the construction industry, because you have young graduates who have completed their, their studies in terms of engineering or perhaps construction management that step into the construction arena without adequate uh, mentors available in order to give them the necessary experience to complete their, their, their qualifications and obtain the necessary practical experience in order to be successful on site. All right. What helped AFRISAM survive during the sign up during this time of uncertainty about build projects and you being surrounded by many firms closing down? So we've had to change, and I'm speaking about AFRISAM ReadyMix, we've had to change the way we, we operate. And, um, and that's largely due to us, as I said earlier, being very reliant on work from the larger construction companies. Um, going back to 2015, 2016, we completed many projects in the, in the metropolitan areas of Santon, Rosebank, Pretoria, and Amschlanga. And unfortunately, those contractors and those types of projects are not available anymore. So we've made a decision a few years ago to change our focus, to focus on the small and medium-sized construction companies and start to build relationships with them because they are the companies who are securing uh, the limited number of projects that are coming out to tender. And as a result of that, the good work we've done in that, in that space, we started the year off with quite a healthy order book. In fact, it was so good that we actually, our quarter one results were actually better than uh, 2019. Unfortunately, the lockdown came in and all that did was simply delay the work that we had secured. So for two months, because of the construction industry being inactive, uh, we were unable to unfortunately produce any concrete. However, once level three was implemented in June, uh, we, we resumed full production. And we within a few weeks, we were back up to the production levels of where we were pre-lockdown. So I would say the reason why we managed to come through this very difficult period was because of the healthy order book that we had prior to lockdown. But also, as I said, the good work that we've done in terms of relationship building with 
with key customers which puts one in a good position to secure uh, work going forward.